You're watching Sidewalk Entertainment. I'm your host, Lori Rosales. So let me tell you a little bit about today's interview. And here's the thing. <laughs> so we have a really great guest on our show today. He is an Emmy Award winning journalist and he's pretty much done everything. He's covered everything. He's been to all parts of the world. And he's pretty much, I mean, obviously he's kind of like a hero to me because <laughs> he pretty much has done everything that any aspiring journalist has ever wanted to do. And he's going to be joining us on our show today to talk about a series that's on the History Channel. It's called The Proof Is Out There. And one of the things I love about this show is that it covers like not scenarios, but what do I, what do I want to call it? Um, like unexplained phenomenon that some of us or many of us have grown up with that they're touching on and bringing legit evidence as to is it possible did it happen so tony harris from the proof is out there on the history channel is going to be filling us in on all sorts of stuff so don't go anywhere sit back relax let's go ahead and get right to it right here on sidewalk entertainment I'd like to welcome returning guest, Emmy Award-winning journalist, Tony Harris, to Sidewalks Entertainment. Hi, Tony, welcome back. It's so great to have you on our show again. It's good you always. Thank you. So it's it's been about a year since the last time we've had you on our show. How have you been? Have you traveled anywhere new, pick up any new hobbies? Yes, yes, all I will tell you is that I've been really, really busy, I mean, kind of stupid busy, kind of you need to take some time and do some stuff for yourself and hit a tennis ball or something. <laughs> no, it's been wonderful. But the, the benefits, you know, what has come from working on this program, all of it has been amazing and it's been a wonderful ride and, and I'm just trying to, to ride the wave for as long and as far as I can. So the last time we had you on your show, you briefly mentioned something about taking scuba diving lessons. How did that go? Well, not as well. I had to stop uh, because the work got really busy. And so I hope to get back to it because I, I, you know, when we were talking about that, it was because of, of working on this program and, and how excited I am about finding out more about what's in our seas, right? Yeah. Uh, because I enjoy the most when people capture things that are in, in our bodies, our oceans and, you know, in our seas. And so I, I, I want to get back to that as soon as I can, you know, carve out some time, get some bandwidth to do that, because that that's that's always been thrilling and even more thrilling from doing the show and seeing some of the videos that people have captured and sent to us. So when you do have free time, what are other things that you like to do when you're not working? You know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty bad at this, actually. I mean, I, <laughs> I love to travel. So sort of top of mind for me if I can get away I, I you know I'm going to use my miles I'm going to use my status I'm going to... <laughs> <laughs> I love that I love that <laughs> I'm going to get away but the other stuff is just you know I like to do a little bit of hiking I love to do the, the walking I, I'm a tennis player so I love to get out and and I'm, I'm more and more and I'm, I'm playing I'm playing golf and and you know what what's great about the hiking and the walking is that i uh i'm always able to sort of listen to interesting programs and podcasts and that sort of thing so you know i'm always kind of feeding my brain and, and i don't i don't really switch off the way i probably need to um and and i'm one of those people who, who's thinking about the next project and, and that's that's not that's not great uh i should really sort of just get away to get away and and but i, I don't i'm not really good at doing that <laughs> um kids that understand you know the way i live and tolerate me <laughs> <laughs> well in the show the proof is out there on the history channel i imagine that just creating the show in itself is a pretty interesting experience what's it been like for you in terms of getting content do you travel it do you travel a lot for the series or not as much as one might expect I actually see travel in our in our future. I've traveled a little bit with the show. We've done some work 
where we've done shows wrapped around the theme of the Bermuda Triangle. We visited the Skinwalker Ranch in the past as well to, to meet those guys and, and talk about their work. So I see more travel in the future for the program, for sure. Nice. Uh, I, I think when you talk about the show, what we wanted to do is we wanted to find another lane for people who enjoy the offerings from the History Channel, particularly in the unexplained space, right? Um, Shatner's show, The Unexplained, Ancient Aliens, obviously huge mega shows for the History Channel. But, you know, the, the feeling is that there's always an, another lane or is there another lane to explore? Mm -hmm. And so this concept of the there is, is developed with the idea, the conceit of grab your phone. We wonder if people will allow us to crowdsource a television show to essentially turn it into a clip show based on what people at home have been able to gather. And, you know, we started out with eight episodes. The, the, and the other side of that was we will give those clips to experts and have them uh, take those videos apart. And, and the, the beauty of this from the History Channel perspective is that in some cases, we've debunked things and theories and, and ideas that are kind of entrenched in the minds of, of the unexplained audience to the History Channel. And, and, and they were bold enough to say, do it do it so we want you as a journalist to keep your skepticism hat on we want you to work with this team at sort of uh coming to the verdicts and then tony you need to you know have a handy umbrella for when the the hail storm of criticism from social media is 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 aimed at you so that's been fun and interesting <laughs> But, you know, you always, you, there's always two sides, though. You always get the best feedback from both the skeptics and the believers. It's okay. I mean, it's what we sign up for. I mean, I, and I think for me, you know, uh, I've enjoyed it so much because it's a new area of exploration. For me, it's a place that I didn't expect to be practicing journalism. And, you know, so to be able to do journalism in a different space you know, I've done everything from covering the Arab Spring to, you know, the, the work at CNN. Uh, so to get an opportunity to, to, to work in this space has been something I didn't expect. I didn't see coming and it's been wonderful. Yeah, well, with that being said, compared to the work that you've done in the past, you've done pretty much everything. And now you're working on the proof is out there. It's all new territory. What do you enjoy most about working on this series? I think it's, 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 it's the engagement with the audience. Oftentimes you don't you don't get that in the work, um, but I think it's the engagement with the audience that's and it's also this walk through history. I love it. I love the walk through history. I've always loved history. So to get an opportunity to take this walk through history every week is fascinating. Beautiful, beautiful. Well, Tony, sadly we are out of time, but as always, it was such an honor to speak with you today. Thank you so much. Everyone, be sure to watch Tony Harris in the series The Proof is Out There on the History Channel. You take care, Tony. Uh, you too. Thank you. Thanks. For more full-length celebrity interviews, visit us at SidewalksTV.com, our YouTube channel, and don't forget to follow us on social media.